All right, welcome to the video, everyone. This is just going to be a very quick explanation video going over some of the issues that I've been having with my Bear Creek Arsenal upper receiver. Just a little bit of context, I did do a review on this upper receiver in a previous video, and in the comment section of that video, I was explaining to one of the viewers that, uh, that I was having some cycling issues uh, with this upper mounted to my standard uh, AR-15 lower. So the issues that I was having was that I was able to eject a round, no issue, but I was not able to cycle the next round from the magazine. Uh, it would not go fully into battery. So I determined that it was not a magazine issue and it was not an ammo issue. I did test other magazines and different ammos, uh, but was still having the same problem. So after doing a little bit of research myself, I did figure that I needed a much heavier buffer for the much heavier round of the 450 Bushmaster. So this is a standard carbine buffer. Uh, this weighs three ounces as standard carbine buffers do. And I went ahead and purchased myself an H3 buffer uh, from BCM. This H3 buffer weighs 5.4 ounces. So it is much, much heavier uh, than a standard carbine buffer. So after installing that buffer into the lower receiver, I can tell you that I have had zero issues cycling any more rounds uh, in my 450 upper receiver. And as you can see in the videos from the bottom right, um, I'm able to dump mag after mag and have absolutely no issues at all. And uh, it's worked out great for me. So if anybody else is having this issue, I recommend you go ahead and get yourself a heavier buffer and uh, hopefully that solves your problem. And I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching.